Hello. In this video, we're going to explain how to set up basic job accounting on the new Kyocera Task Alpha series. We will be setting up basic job accounting with two account codes, a black and white account code that was restricted to only black and white copy and black and white print, and a color account code that is unrestricted and has full access. The first thing we're going to need to do is to log into the machine and go to System Menu, Go to the second page and select Job Accounting. We then need to log in with the admin username, admin with a capital A. And for the password, it is going to be admin with a capital A as well. And then press Log In. Now we need to turn on job accounting. Go to job accounting setting and select job accounting on. Job accounting is now turned on but we have no accounts associated with it. Next we need to go to job accounting local and go to the accounting list add edit. This is where we create new job accounting codes. We're going to first create our black and white account code. We select add and give it the account name black and white and hit OK. Here's where we set the account ID or password associated with the black and white user or department. We're going to use 1, 2, 3, 4. Anybody that logs into the device with the account code 1234 will be associated with account name black and white. Now we're going to set the restrictions. This is a black and white user so we don't want them to have any color restrictions usage at all. So for full color access for copy we're going to say reject usage. Single color we're going to say reject usage. We don't want to put any restrictions on their ability to copy at all just on color. So we're going to restrict their access to print and color as well. And if we go to the next page we can see that we can also restrict their scan usage or their fax usage. So in review, this is a black and white user with account ID 1234 that has no copy restrictions as far as how many copies they can do, but they aren't allowed to do any full color copies, single color copies, or full color prints. They only can copy in black and white and print in black and white. Now we hit save. Now let's create our color user. The creation of the color user is much easier because it's pretty straightforward because there are no restrictions. All we have to do is click add, give it the account name color, hit OK, and assign, assign the account ID to go with that account. So anybody that logs in with the account ID 0000 would be associated with color and they will have no restrictions at all. Again, we are not putting any restrictions on this user. You could put a restriction on the user by hitting change and either rejecting complete usage of an object or ability or setting a counter limit on that. So if we put a counter limit of a thousand here, that means that they would only be able to do a thousand color copies. But again, this is an unrestricted account. So I'm going to hit save. Now we have two account IDs created. Black and white associated with 1234 and color associated with 0000. So we can go ahead and close out or hit the home key. Now we log in with our account ID. If I log in with 1234 it's going to associate it with the black and white user. And if I try to make a color copy, it's going to be restricted by job accounting. If I log out and log in with my color account code 0000 and log in, I have full access and can make single color.
color, full color, or black and white usage. Now that we've set up job accounting on the copier, we have to associate one of those job account codes with the print driver. First, we need to access the control panel, and then go to devices and printers. We set up job accounting on this particular Kyocera Task Alpha 4052 CI. We need to right click on this one and go to printer properties. Then we want to go to device settings. Click on administrator and go to the job accounting tab. Currently I have job accounting turned on and using account code 1234. And if you remember from the earlier part of this video, 1234 was associated with the black and white user. We're going to leave it like this for now. And we're going to hit OK. And OK. And let's open up WordPad. And we're going to try to print this document that has red text in it. We're going to hit File, Print, and we're going to choose the Kyocera 4052CI. And to find out what happens, we're going to send it in full color. Remember, we're using the job accounting code 1234 that was associated with black and white only. If we hit OK and print, and look at the screen of the machine, we see that it says an error has occurred with the print job. If we hit the status button, we can see that it cannot process this job because it's restricted by job accounting. This job will automatically be deleted from the queue and nothing will occur. So let's go back to the driver one more time. This time we're going to go into printer properties, and device settings, administrator, job accounting, and until, instead of telling the driver to always use this specific account ID, we're going to request that the user be prompted and asked for the account ID they want to use. This is handy if you're trying to track the different accounts or departments. Now we're going to hit OK, and we're going to print this job, job one more time. We're going to leave it set at color, but we're going to hit OK, and we're going to hit print. Now we are prompted for which account ID to use. So because I want this printed and I do want it in color, I'm going to use my color department ID, which is 0, 0, 0, 0. And if I hit OK, the print job passes through. Thank you for your time today.